What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we were doing episodes 55 and 56. The first one was called I Don't Know. We are getting right into the Shutoku Rakuzan match and it is getting intense. I am thoroughly enjoying Akashi and the matter of if he's going to have to even use his ability or not of how good Rakuzan is. They're like the leading champs or the best high school team around. And I am ready to see how this goes because not only do we have to go against Kaijo and Kisei, but we have to go against the winner of this game after that. So we have only intensity from here on to the through to the end of the actual show. So that's crazy to even talk about, but I'm ready for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Kuroko no Basket, episode 55. I don't know. Episode 55. I don't know. I, I mean, if we're talking about how he dribbles like that. I don't know. So that is Miya, Miyagi Kiyoshi. Last Kiyoshi, number eight. He's staying up late for the extra practice. What you call dedication right there. I love how we're getting like a Shutoku specific little flashback. He's the Rock Lee. He doesn't have that natural latent ability that Naomine or uh, Murasaki Bara Kagami has. But through determination and hard work, that was a cool transition. That's all them. Miyagi and Kimura. We have that flashback just to cut back over to Miyagi getting crossed up. Okay. He's nice. That's Vampire Boy. I gotta get his. Is that number seven? So that is uh, Hayama from Rakuzan. That was only. That's what he meant by only three should do it. I thought it was three bounces. I mean, he did say last episode he's the best dribbler around. They got a four point lead. You know it's a scary situation if Akashi hasn't even started doing his own shit yet. They're still relying just on the team in general. Especially him. Wow. That was a good steal from Akashi. We're going to have to do something. Switch something up because our... Nidorima said, stop talking shit about my team. That was a great block. Oh my lord. Counter attack. Okay. Okay, spin move with the pivot over here. What's about to do? Good screen. Good screen. And then he's going to pass it. Great pass. Over to Miyagi, who... Even though he is by far the best member on this team, I love how much confident, confidence and faith he has in his boys. No one's holding me back. This is a squad right here. Shuts out Miyagi with that dunk. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the smallest grin we could see. I love it. I feel like Midorima from the beginning of the show to right now where we're at currently has had some great character development too. I don't feel like he would be quite... like He would still be open like this to his teammates, but not quite like this at the beginning, you know? Like, I think through seeing Seirene, he realizes how much, you know, your team can actually do and help you out in these situations. <laughs> we'll put one man on him instead of two, but it'll be me. So, golly, I'm excited. No, I mean, I, I've seen Maya, have I see, not seen Maya Zumi's face? Or, like, why do they blur it out right there? I have their whole team written down in terms of their names. This boy's got a snack bar on him. I see the Pocky box. Yeah, they're hyping up his eyes. The true battle will begin. I know I keep seeing his eyes are different colors, you know? Right? You almost tried to cut my face with some scissors. Hell yeah. We got to get revenge on you for that. Facts. 
Only those who serve me. Why do I feel like I'm getting sucked into a Sharingan? How is this man? I don't know how he was able to do that, but he he used like his godly presence to make Kagami get down. Kagami didn't even know how he did it. He's like, that wasn't his strength. What was that? Bro, I I have no idea what to expect from this guy. I mean, he's got Sharingan, Byakugan, Rinnegan. He's got something to gun for sure. You'll see soon. I'm ready for it. I'm here. We're still tied. The fact that we're still tied is crazy. Like, Shutoku's an amazing team. Rock was on also is an amazing team, but it's like, I don't know. Immediately for a shot. But it's, he's using his literal Sharingan. Powerless. Like. How did he do that? He just sees it. It's his eye. What do I, I need to know? This man sees into the abyss. Literally broke his ankles. As he's looking at him in the eye. That is straight intimidating. Lower your head. Did the same thing to Takeo he did to Kagami. I don't know how we can... It's like he can see in the future. Yeah? That's crazy. 14 points behind. Goodness gracious. But he was able to predict that with his eyes, so he just pivots right around it. Who knows with his eye? He might have full 360 Byakugan vision. You never know. <laughs> you could see that you were doing that. Fake is not... You can't fake anymore. It literally is, like, impossible. That's insane to me. I don't know. I don't know. Fakes don't work. Normal moves don't work because he just. I love the way they animate those eyes though. Look at the way they animate this. Both ankles just gone. My orders are absolute. You keep them somewhat balanced, explode off in one direction so they try to match your explosiveness, not specifically ready yeah center of gravity oh all that oh i've seen so many people break their break their ankles fall over immediately it's like the ultimate sign of a good dribbler you can make someone just constantly break their ankles i thought he was gonna pass it if he does a behind the back shot i'm fighting him okay it was a good pass thank the lord even though it's still a great pass what does that help? of course he did he said nink nink Emperor I <laughs> tell me with the it literally is the same animation as Kurapika from uh Hunter Hunter. Like Emperor Time is what his ability is called too, so that's fucking crazy. Right, you got the rest of the team, the uncrowned kings. That would be is that Mibuchi? Yeah. And then obviously you got Nebuya. That's quite the shot when a second later, <laughs> my boy Midorima's ankles and he are on the ground. He is down. And it's not like my boy Akashi has to go for these crazy shots, these crazy dunks. He makes you on the floor and then just lays it up like it's the easiest shit. 20 point difference? 
Uh, Otsubo said, these guys are the most that, that feel the most passion, the most... Like, this shit is not over yet. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. That's out their upperclassmen. Otsubo, Miyagi, Kimura. That's how it be. That's why you gotta keep winning. You cannot let this be the end for your third years. Ooh, he's like, wait, these guys are still resilient? They're still going? He's like Murasaki Bar, just thinking he can crush your spirit to make you give up fighting, you know? Which I which sucks. Because even though I'm super happy about this moment, I still think they're gonna lose, sadly. <laughs> but still, I want them to keep fighting all to the very end, you know? Okay, on to the next episode. 56, I will give them to you. What are they doing with the shot clock as their strategy? Bro, you don't want to go too early, can't go too late. You go when you're ready. Another flashback? Is this when him and Takeo first meet? This is one of my favorite duels in the show. <laughs> I love Takeo and Mitarima. <laughs> But then it changed once you saw him on the court, huh? Because <laughs> 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 it's like he does rainbow him. Urusai,邪魔をするな。最近、俺が残っている時は必ずお前もいる。それに練習中、何かと張り合ってくるかしら。<laughs> Do they go against each other at a certain point? That would be for the GOM. They go against someone who people and just beat them. They don't remember any of them. <laughs> and this is how they became High Q, <laughs> A completely different show. That's literally that story. And then they become the best duo in the league. Hell yeah. I think there's a reason they're showing us this. And so we cut back to now and how that duo met. From how they started to what he's saying now, I gotta trust my teammates more than I trust myself. With three seconds left on the shot clock? He said he'll send you a pass that even impresses you. Oh, I love that. He's getting in his shot preparation and Takeo is going to shoot it. Pass it to him mid-shot. Are you serious? They're getting ready for the rebound. Takeo, if you can make this pass, you're a legend, my boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at Imuro's face. <laughs> Look at There's no time for you to react. He literally was in his position. It went <laughs> easy. It's just physically impossible to react at that speed. Tell me you don't get high Q from vibes from Takeo right now, because Kageyama is the setter. Takeo set that perfectly to him, you know. So that just shows how much faith and confidence he has in his boys. But he's doing it at a gamble. Osubo, get that bitch. This old dude. Grip. The way they made that look, that was clean. Good steal, Miyagi. Oh my, the way they do that is so crisp. So they were down, what, 20? Now we're down 11? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I do like how there's another duo we can root for on the show besides just Kagami Kuroko. That's just such a rare thing to hear in teenagers, you know? Fair enough. I mean, already for those nine points, yeah. Does it? He doesn't seem too concerned to me, but hey, maybe you can read into that deeper than I can. 
<laughs> My orders are absolute. Ooh, I love how it blurred out of him and it went to his uh, Shutoku school flag. The only shame is not getting up. Oh my god, there's no shame in getting knocked down. The only shame is not getting back up. That reminds me of Fuegolian from uh, Black Clover so much. Otsubo, thank the lord. Fuegolian and uh, Black Clover says there's no shame in being weak. Only shame is staying weak, motherfucker. Get to work, you know? <laughs> Come on! Four threes in a row. You just gave us some more points, sir. I was the I was the wrong hoop, sir. Damn. Don't get complacent is what he's saying. He's trying to get them back into the mental state of winning. So he's like, don't think we're okay because we got a lead. You know, like... That's how confident he is that they're going to win. So guys, let's get our shit together and win. If we lost due to Akashi and that shot he just took, he will quit the team, gouge his eyes out, and give them to you guys on a plate. But because he knows that's not going to happen, he can say that confidently. <laughs> Making it seem like he's a goddamn samurai committing seppuku or something. I mean, that's just how confident he is in his life and his mentality of winning you know he 100 percent would gouge his eyes out yeah they're taking this way more serious now they're like okay even though we still got a lead we're not fucking around no more they're saying that while we're not even seeing his eyes that's so crazy how no matter what you can say this man is intimidating and i love levi's voice actor perfect voice actor for akashi so all right oh double team on taco Okay, okay. Ooh, the wide pivot? Hell yeah, that's confidence right there. But I think Akashi's gonna steal this one. I'm absolute. Even without my Emperor Eye, wow. I never lose. Mm. He's the fucking Darth Sidious, the Palpatine of basketball. Shouts out to their audience, their, their squad. I feel like I recognize his voice actor as well. I need to look up their voice actors. I feel like I recognize Mibuchi. Pump fake. Uh oh. Oh, and a foul. And he, if he gets the shot plus the foul, what is it? A... Please miss. So he just gets the plus. He can get four points off that one play. Rakuzana starting to pull ahead now, pull away. Ankles are gone. Ooh, 
I mean, he did say you you exceeded his expectations. And that's commendable in and of itself. Right over his... Oh, talk about a shot. Both cinematically and... That's GG. Veteran King. God damn. Oh my god. Talk about my boy Akashi going in. I mean, I love how it was a great match. I love how, like Akashi said, the uh, Shutoku boys, I love how he had to give respect to all of them just for that, particularly. I gotta give my honor and respect to Shutoku and Midorima for fighting till the end, but they did sadly fall short. Ah, oh, great match though. I love the flashback of seeing Miyagi, uh, Kimura, Otsubo, and how they, like, how Midorima and Takeo first joined the team, all that. There was a lot of Shutoku flashbacks in this, and I really enjoy them. I really enjoy them as a team and, and their totality. Miyagi is that mean guy who always works, is strict, I shouldn't say mean. He's strict because he wants us to be the best that, that we could be. He works super, super hard. He takes it so personally. Same with Kimura, and Otsubo is the one who sees that, and he's, oh, I love it so much. Great team. I love Takeo and Midorima as a duo. Akashi's Emperor Eye. There's just not a way. It's not inspired by Hunter Hunter, right? Like, I'm not saying it is, but literally with the same red circle around his eye, and it's called Emperor Eye instead of Emperor Time. Like, come on. Like, it is insane. I am loving it so far. Akashi is, is like, it's like they were saying. Physically and mentally, he's a genius. Also, he has great strategies and controls everything, manipulates everything from the very beginning. So it's like, how do you beat him? I don't know, but we're going to do it eventually. We still have to beat Kisei and Kaijo, so it's going to be a little time before we do that. But boy, am I ready for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. Absolutely great matches. Um, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out that Patreon early access full length up to one week ahead or four episodes. Other than that, uh, I don't know. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.